Hi everyone, Andrea here. This is my June book haul. I'm off on holiday shortly, so I thought I would do this video now and get it up before I went, because I'm probably not going to buy many books while I'm in Tenerife. It is my birthday while I'm out there, and I am expecting some books for my birthday, so depending on what I get, I would either do a birthday book haul, or those books I get for my birthday will be in July's book haul. So, on to the books. The first book I have this month is a Folio Society photograph book called The Travels of a Victorian Photographer, and the photographer in point is Francis Frith. Now, Francis Frith literally travelled the country back in the Victorian era, era taking photographs of various scenes and locations. He also travelled to Egypt and other countries all over the world and the Francis Frith collection is a massive collection of um, photographs. That's one in Wales. Conway. Um, I love Francis Frith's uh, photographs. I love looking at his website. Um, I will put a link to the Francis Frith website in the notes below because it's a really good place to visit. You can have a look at your hometown and see what it looked like. 100 years ago, or 150 years ago, how long ago it was. So anyway, this is a nice one from the Folio Society. It comes in a slip case, which is here. I love the Folio Society books. They are always really good quality. They are beautifully printed. Um, they're, they're just gorgeous. So that was the first book I've bought. I haven't read it yet, but I'm looking forward to, to going through it soon. Next, I bought Terry Pratchett. Uh, a slip of the keyboard. This is the collected uh, non-fiction with a forward by Neil Gaiman. So um, the, he does have a, a collection of fiction, which I've already got, which is a blink of the screen. But this is his, it's kind of like an autobiography in short story form. Um, and has his fun, usual take on things. There is one chapter that broke my heart when I read it. Um, obviously, as all Pratchett fans, I was devastated when he passed last year. Um, and the chapter is in Days of Rage, the section, and it's titled, I'm slipping away a bit at a time, and all I can do is watch it happen. And to me, that is such a, a sad title for a story. It, I mean, although it is non-fiction, it's about his struggle with early onset um, Alzheimer's, um, or as you called it, his embuggerance. So I'm really looking forward to that, but I think it's also going to break my heart because I really love Terry Pratchett's work and I've nearly pretty much done the disc world and I've just got to collect the rest of them now. So after that is another fantasy writer that I really love and that is Terry Goodkind and this is The First Confessor. Terry Goodkind, he wrote the Sword of Truth series and this is a prequel to the Sword of Truth. Um, look at that gorgeous cover. It's all Oh, and it's got a lovely gorgeous little bookmark in it as well. I've never seen these in Terry Goodkin books. And basically it says, War is coming and first wizard Bacchus, leader of the new world, lover of life, is dead. Worse, he took his own life, throwing himself from the ramparts of the wizard's keep and plunging thousands of feet to his death. Baracus's grief-stricken wife, Mag the Seeress, cannot comprehend why he would abandon her and his people at such an uncertain time. She's intent on following her husband into the underworld, but then she finds the note he left, urging her to seek the truth. What she uncovers, no one is willing to believe. Magda learns she is alone, ungifted, is the key to her people's survival in the coming war, a war that will spare no one. A war where the consequences of defeat are more terrifying than anyone could ever have imagined. Her stand will change history, her deeds echo through the millennia, so journey with Magda Seris into a darkening world and discover how legends are born. This is the prequel to The Sword of Truth and it's set some 3,000 years before Wizards First Rule and it tells us how the Confessors came into being. Confessor was Caelan Amnol, was the last of the Mother Confessors and, and Magda Seris was the first. So it seems only right to have a story. I'm really, really excited to read this book because I really love, uh, I really love Kaylin and Richard's story, so I really hope Magda's story is, is just as good. So I can't wait. Um, another book I bought this month was The Ruby Slippers of Oz by Reese Thomas, and I've already talked about this in my June wrap up. Like I said this before, I loved it. I love anything to do with Hollywood history, so this is a perfect book for me. Another Hollywood related book is by Wayne Vincent Hatford, and it's called Rudolph Valentino The Untold Story. 
this is actually the second book I think he's written. I know there is another one. Um, Wayne Vincent Hart Hatford is apparently a medium and he, this is a book of conversations with Rudolph Valentino that he's had from Beyond the Veil. So the dead Rudy is talking to the live Wayne. And he has another book called Valentino Speaks which I don't have but I will be getting soon. It's interesting. We will have to see. Then of course I got Helen Oyemi's um, I don't know how to pronounce that. What is not yours is not yours. Now I don't have the really pretty version which everybody loves with the open spine. This is a normal book. But I was so wanting to read this book but I just didn't care. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I don't read a lot of short stories um, other than like the Terry Pratchett ones and ones about Marilyn. The same as I don't read a lot of poetry. So that is something I'm trying to do this year. Next is... Black Eyed Susans by Julia Heberlin. Um, I saw this in the shop and thought I wanted to read it. It looks really interesting. I don't know what it's like. I am a star of Screaming Tabloid, Headlines and Campfire Ghost Stories. I am one of the four Black Eyed Susans, the lucky one. Left with three other girls in a grave shrouded by Black Eyed Susans, Tessa alone survived, her testimony helping put a killer behind bars. Now 16 years later he's about to be executed but Tessa feels no relief because someone is planting black-eyed Susans outside her window. Someone is sending her daughter sinister messages and there's a lawyer telling her the man about to be put to death is innocent, which can mean only one thing. The wrong man has been sentenced and the real killer is still out there and Tessa might not be the, the, might not be the last black-eyed Susan. This is the sort of book I love. I love that sort of crime thrillers and psychological thrillers, so this is perfect for me. Um, the next one is, again, I talked about this in my wrap up and part one, Terry Pratchett's Weird Sisters, the play by, adapted for the stage by Stephen Briggs, because all the discs are stage. So as I said, I will be performing this play in November to look out for more Pratchett Weird Sisters nonsense and maybe some rehearsal videos. You never know, we might get a bit of that. That might be fun. And finally... The last book I've picked up this month is Peter James. You are dead, as you know, I love Peter James, even though I wasn't keen on The House on Cold Hill. I've read so many of his that, that I've liked that I don't mind taking a risk. I mean, it was only two for seven pounds, three pound eighty five each in Tesco. Bought it with Black Eyed Susan. Um, the last words that Jamie Bell, all he is from his fiancee, Logan Somerville, are in a terrified phone call. She has just driven into the underground car park beneath the block of flats where they live in Brighton. Then Jamie hears her scream and the line goes dead. The police are on the scene within minutes, but Logan has vanished, leaving her neatly parked car and mobile phone before. Behind, even. So that sounds really good. And every time a woman goes missing, a body turns up from like 30 years ago interesting again peter james i hope this is good this is an older one obviously because it's paperback but i'm really looking forward to this because it's, it's, this is a roy grace i think yes roy grace series so there we are those are the books i actually bought myself this month like i said it is my birthday next week i'm on holiday um i am expecting books because i've asked for books among other things so i'm expecting books so like i said if i get a lot of books there will be a birthday book haul if not i will just bang it all up um, around the middle of July when I run out of cash. So that's it for my June book haul. I hope to see you very, very soon. Enjoy your week. I will be back when I get back from Tenerife. Hopefully I'll be a little bit brown. I don't tan very much, but <laughs> hopefully I'll be nice and relaxed. And I will be put, put, put in, probably putting up um, a video about my holiday and of course showing you the Tenerife English bookshop. Why not? It's got to be done. So I'll see you soon. Bye.